Hi, welcome to the set of dialogue at the Wilson Center in Washington, D.C. I'm John Molesky, where just concluded a dialogue taping with our guest Katrina Vanden Heuvel, editor of The Nation and the author of this new book, The Change I Believe In, about fighting for progressive politics in the age of Obama. I wanted to ask you, Katrina, about uh, go back to Karl Rove and his permanent yes. conservative majority. If you remember, that's what he was talking about. It certainly and, was. And then Obama's elected, and that is put to lie. Uh, and then there's a lot of claims by progressives that it's the end of conservative politics. And I, I'd like you to hear your analysis on both of these because neither seem to be exactly No, true. I think that's right. I think there is a resurgence, though, of progressive energy and sympathy around core progressive values. We see it now with Occupy Wall Street, broadly defined, justice, fighting against inequality, support for a safety net which has been shredded. But I don't see many signs of Karl Rove's conservative majority. In fact, he's at war with some in his own party, and nor do I see real conservatism, true conservatism, as it's been defined over the course of U.S. or Enlightenment history. We have extremism in a Republican Party, which would have kicked out, I don't know, you know think of John Lindsay, think of Nelson Rockefeller, two people from the state I come from. Ronald Reagan, some would Ronald argue, Reagan would not have fit. Would have, who, who, negotiated with Mikhail Gorbachev, then the leader of the Soviet Union. Who raised taxes. Raised taxes to help build our infrastructure. He might have been booted out of the party. And in fact, you know, people who worked with Reagan, uh, Schultz, George Schultz, or Jack Matlock, the former ambassador to Russia, look around at this party, James Baker, and wonder what has happened to it and what how do you does think it get back on track? What is the core of this change? If, if people accept this depiction of the Republican Party, yeah. why did it change in this direction? I think the anti-tax mania has gone to a level that we, you know, it's 30, 40 years of that anti-tax march. Prop 13 in California, Howard Jarvis, but it's moved to such a level and there's such a hatred of government. You have to sometimes wonder why people are running to run government mm -hmm. if they hate it so much. So those are factors which have really been exacerbated through the media, through the money, through the generational shifts in the Republican Party, and of course the Tea Party, which is, you know, I believe is a, is a movement that is frightened about the changes in this country and in the world, so is hunkered down in a kind of defensive nostalgia for a country they believe they once lived in because it was never as simple. I want to ask you to sort of calibrate progressive expectations as far as the, the calendar. We talked in our longer discussion, you write in the book, that these things don't change overnight. Right, right. So for the type of things that you'd like to see happen in this country, taking money out of the system, yeah. uh, fuller participation, more economic equality, go down the list. How long should people be in the fight for? It's a very good question. I think part of the fight, especially if you're in movements, is the need for short-term victories, but then long-term patience, because these things don't happen overnight. But it would be very good to see, as we did in Ohio a week ago, a rejection of the governor's attempt to roll back workers' rights. Then you move on from there to expand workers' rights. The rejection in Maine of that Republican Tea Party governor's attempt to restrict voting rights. We need to be inclusive. So the fight for voting rights, the fight to get money out of the system, the fight for ver fairer budgets, the fight for protection for working people, these are all things that I think you could achieve in the short term while you, in the long term, achieve a society people want to live in. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, if you're interested in either the book or hearing the longer discussion with Katrina, visit us on the web at wilsoncenter.org and you'll see a tab on the upper right-hand side of the screen that says TV and radio. Click there and you'll find your way to uh, everything we talked about. Thanks.